Hello and welcome. This is a video for Required Practical 4 for AQA GCSE Science for Combined Science Biology students and Triple Science Biology students as well. This is called Food Tests. There are four food tests that we need to go through. The first one is iodine test for starch. Here is one example. We have some bread and what we do is we use iodine solution. We put a drop of iodine on our sample of bread and a change to a blue-black color indicates the presence of starch. We might also have a starch suspension, that's starch in some water. We can do the same test and see the same color change. So in order to do this, we add iodine solution, which is orange, to our sample. The color change from orange to blue-black shows that starch is present. So that's our iodine test for starch. One more thing to note here is that the darker the color, the more starch there is present. Test number two, the Biret test for protein. Here is our sample of crushed or blended food. Here is what we call some Biret solution, which is a blue color. We add the Biret solution to our sample. If we see a lilac color, that indicates the presence of protein. So a lilac color indicates protein is present. The next one is our test for lipids. This one's slightly more involved. Here's our sample, which has either been crushed or blended. What we would do is we would add a few drops of ethanol, and that's the start point of our test. So we add ethanol, we shake, we then add water, and if we see a milky white emulsion, this indicates the presence of a lipid. So here's our solution. This is supposed to be a milky white emulsion. It's gray there, but please remember, it has to be a milky white emulsion to indicate the presence of a lipid. Our next test is called the Benedict's test for sugars. Here again is our sample, which is either crushed or blended food. We would use Benedict's reagent, which is a blue color, place that into our sample, and then we would have a mixture that we would place in a water bath. A water bath is basically water that is being heated over a Bunsen burner flame. We put our sample and mixture inside the water bath and we look for a color change. So we add Benedict's reagent, usually an equal volume of Benedict's reagent. We heat in a water bath and a color change from blue to brick red indicates the presence of sugar. It's worth noting here there are a range of colors that we go through, so from a blue to a green to yellow, orange, red, and then finally a brick red color. So those are the four food tests that we need to know, and here we have a nice summary of those four food tests that you can use for quick revision. Let's take a look at an exam question. So here's an exam question. It might be worth reading through this and giving this a go yourself, and then we'll come back in a moment with the answers. So this is quite a tricky question because there's quite a lot of information that we have to read first. This is an application question, so let's go through it. So it says, a student used a colorimeter to investigate the rate of starch digestion. Now, a colorimeter is not mentioned in the specification, but in fact it does tell you what a colorimeter is here. It says, a colorimeter measures the percentage of light passing through a liquid. The darker the color of the liquid, the less light passes through. We can see we've got a dark solution and there's less light passing through compared to the pale solution on the right hand side where there is more light passing through. It says the student mixed one centimeters cubed of starch suspension with 10 centimeters cubed of iodine solution. The student then measured the percentage of light passing through the mixture and then repeated with different concentrations of starch suspension. And there is a graph showing the concentration of starch versus the percentage of light passing through the solution. 1.1 says, suggest what the student used for a 0 grams per decimeter cubed starch concentration. That means there's no starch in there at all, so the student could have used 10 centimeters of the dilute iodine and just 1 centimeter of pure water or water with no starch. In other words, we could say 1 centimeter cubed of water. So that will get us the mark for that question there. For 1.2, it says explain the change in percentage of light passing through the different concentrations of starch suspension in the iodine solution. Well, 
The percentage of light passing through a liquid decreased with increasing starch concentration. That's for one mark. This is because the iodine solution was darker in colour for the second mark. And this is because it absorbed more light for the third mark. And for 1.3, a very common question, a six marker, describing how you could do the different food tests. In this case, it's asking you to apply it to a test on cow's milk. So we're testing for protein and the different types of carbohydrate, not for lipids. So for protein, we use biorect reagent, test for protein. We add the biorect reagent to the milk and the solution will turn from blue to lilac if positive. The iodine test will test, test for starch, which is a type of carbohydrate. We add iodine solution to the milk. The solution will turn from orange to blue-black if positive. In other words, if there is any starch present. And finally, we use the test for sugars, which is the Benedict's reagent test for sugars. We add Benedict's reagent to the milk and heat it in a water bath. The solution will turn from blue to a brick red colour if positive. In other words, if there is sugar present. So that's it, the food test required practical uh, and some exam questions to go along with it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.